Welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. Today instead of reviewing a single product I'm going to take a look at a selection of non-contact voltage testers. I'm going to limit this review to just these non-contact voltage testers. You can also get stick meters like this at a much higher cost that also feature non-contact voltage testing but these are outside of the scope of this review or comparison. These non-contact voltage testers are available from a wide range of manufacturers at a wide variety of price points. Some cost less than $5 and others cost somewhere around $30. Although these are low cost items, that still represents a factor of six times the cost between some of these units. They are all based on very similar designs and essentially do exactly the same job. So what I've done is I've collected together a group of 10 non-contact voltage testers and we're going to take a look at these on the bench. This is the XTEC DVA30 AC voltage and current detector. Voltage detection on this end, current detection on this end. Switch on the side to turn it on. This also has variable volume for the audible alert. This is the live conductor. The audible indicator is very easy to hear. This is neutral, no indication, which is good. This is the live cable. The visual indicator is very easy to see. Build quality feels to be made out of very cheap plastics. This is the most expensive unit. Expect a little better from XTEC. XTEC unit is also a little large and bulky. Not a particularly good form factor. This is the Fluke Volt Alert 1AC-A2. It has a power button. The unit flashes periodically to let you know it is on and operating. Live conductor. Neutral, does not indicate which is a good thing. Live cable, I like the good clear visual indicator as well as the loud audible indicator. Plastics feel to be of really good quality. It's a nice form factor. This is the UT11A. It is branded SCA, but it is actually a UNI-T. This is the cheapest unit on the bench. It's a good form factor, very similar to the Fluke. The plastics feel nice and of good quality. Does not have a power button because this unit is always on. There's no indicator that this unit is on and functional. Live conductor, neutral. Does does not indicate on neutral which is good. Live cord. I don't really like that this unit is always on. You probably need to change the batteries about once a year. This is the Milwaukee voltage detector 2202-20. The unit is turned on by pressing the button on the back. There is an indicator that the unit is on and operating. Live conductor. Neutral. Live cable. This has a really good visual indicator as well as a very loud audible indicator. It also incorporates the flashlight. The plastics feel to be of good quality. The unit has a really nice feel and I like the form factor very much. But I do know that the switch on the back is a real weakness in the design. This is the Klein Tools NCVT-2. This is dual sensitivity, 12 to 48 volts as well as 48 volts to 1000 volts. Powered on using this switch and this switch can also be used to change between the voltage detection modes. This blue indicates that it is in the 12 to 48 volt range. This green indicates that it is in the 48 to 1000 volt range. Live conductor. Neutral conductor. Does not indicate on neutral which is a good thing. Live cord. Good audible indicator as well as a very good visual indicator. My one criticism, there needs to be something written on the case to tell you which sensitivity mode it is in. It's a very nice form factor, very compact, automatically powers off. Plastics feel to be a really good quality, very nice unit. This is the Fluke Volt Alert 2 AC, sensitive between 90 and 1000 volts. This unit is always on and there is a test button to check that the unit is on and operating. Live conductor, neutral conductor, it did not indicate on neutral which is good. Live cord. The plastics on this unit feel to be of good quality. It's an excellent form factor. Very nice unit but I don't like that it is always on. Batteries need to be changed about once a year. This is the Ideal 61-025. Sensitive between 40 volts and 1000 volts. It can be turned on and off by twisting the handle. Green indicates the unit is on and operating. Live conductor. Neutral, it is indicating on neutral, which means it's a little bit too sensitive. Live cord. The audible indicator can be turned off by pressing this button. Overall, this unit feels to be quite good quality. I like the form factor. A little bit concerned about the durability of the switch. In my opinion, it's a little bit too sensitive though. This is the Hiyoki. 3120 can be turned on and off using the cap here. It glows green to indicate the unit is on and operating, but it's a little dim and hard to see. Live conductor, neutral, it's indicating on neutral, live cable. 
As with the ideal unit, this is a little bit too sensitive. It indicated on the neutral. The audible indicator is easy to hear, but the visual indicator is too dim. It's a very nice form factor, and the plastics feel to be of quite good quality. These switches are quite durable. Overall, I really like this particular unit. Out of all the units on the bench, this is probably my favorite. This is the Fluke 1AC-A. I've had this non-contact voltage tester for over 20 years. It's been a very durable unit. It's always on. Live conductor, neutral, doesn't indicate on neutral, which is good. Live cable. There's no audible indicator, but the visual indicator is very clear and easy to see. I don't like that the unit is always on, but the batteries do last for a very long period of time. I change them probably once a year. The only thing lacking is the audible indicator on this non-contact voltage tester. Other than that, I think Fluke got it right, and I wish Fluke would just stop redesigning this. And finally, I have the Fluke LVD2. This is really more of a torch that also incorporates the non-contact voltage tester. When it's turned on, the torch is always on. The live conductor, it's glowing red. The neutral conductor, it's glowing blue, glowing red on the live cord. As this non-contact voltage tester comes into close proximity to a live cable, it transitions from a flashing blue to a solid blue to a flashing red through to a solid red. There's no audible indicator and in my opinion the visual indicator is hard to see. The battery life on this is not particularly good. Plastics and construction feel good. I haven't had any issues with the switch on the back but time will tell. This is a very small form factor and I do like that but I don't like the battery life. This is not a product I would recommend. Overall, these non-contact voltage testers all work very well. A couple of them, in my opinion, were a little bit too sensitive, but, you know, that's a personal opinion. The x -Tech is the only disappointment in the bunch. It feels like it was built very cheaply, but it was actually the most expensive one on the bench. The final point I want to make about these non-contact voltage testers is that they're good for indicating that voltage is present, but they shouldn't be used to indicate that voltage is not present. Thank you for taking the time to watch this review. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you enjoyed this review, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.